Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Pools of Darkness. Once again, I'm Old Dragon, and uh, we just entered the Troll Toss Tavern. I think you all know what this is related to. <coughs> and this is the uh, Tavern Keeper. Greetings, he continues. I don't know what he continued from. But uh, this is recorded as Journal Entry 9. <clears throat> Troll Toss Tavern. Ways back, a group of trolls and ogres used this building to toss sacks of grain around. If a body happened by, they'd toss them about as well. Them's came to be killed, of course, by heroes such as yourself, but we hire on some Ettens to keep the tradition going. It's a lively sport, though a mite dangerous. Really? Would you care to fight the Ettens? Sure. And we are tossed right into battle up against Ettens. Oh, um, incidentally, uh, I think I will... Ooh, there's multiple rows. I'm going to have to modify my character's icons, it looks like. Am I hearing... I'm not hearing sound. Hold on a second. Oh, of course, I forgot to uh, memorize spells. Huh. I can hear myself, but I can't hear the game sounds. Oh, they're there. I think I'm going to have to go modify the uh, sound card that I have it set to. Maybe that'll do it. <laughs> That's a much nicer skull icon for the death, too. Oh, Etten surrenders. Continue battle. No. Woohoo! 3,900. Uh, almost 4,000 experience. 12 gems. Yes! And finally, our names change color. <coughs> Actually, let me uh, check my mixer. Huh? Congratulations, we drink to your health. Okay, there we go. I can hear it better this time. Yep. Alright, let's go back to uh, training hall. Would you like to train? Sure. Seventeenth level ranger. Seventeenth level cleric. Seventeenth level mage. Iron skin. I want that. Seventeenth level cleric. Woohoo! Okay. Let's go find that in. I will rest and get my spells. Okay, I'm going to come back after I memorize spells, because it's going to be a little while as I have to select every single one of them. Okay, we have rested, gotten our spells, <coughs> did a little bit of uh, um, item rearranging. Ah, as you can see, it's night. But it'll, yep, it'll be day by the time I get back through here. <coughs> Olo's Mystic Devices. This is the magic shop. Let's see what there is. A young yet distinguished woman greets you. Will you buy? Sure, why not? Let's uh, see what's available. Okay, so this is the stuff that's available. 
Mage Scroll, Cleric Scroll, Potion of Healing, Potion of Speed, Wand of Magic Missiles, uh, Ring of Protection plus one, Bracers AC six, and Cloak of Protection plus one. Um, overall, most of it's not very good. Um, Wands of Magic Missiles are good, of course, uh, and I do actually have the cash to get them, but... Uh, and I don't know what's on the scrolls, but there might be some good stuff on them. Unfortunately, right now, um, I am basically loaded for bear, uh, particularly on, on darts of the hornet's nest. And I have something like four wands of magic missiles as well, so... <clears throat> yeah, you can probably expect me to just, like, go through those like water. Okay... Uh, so let's go ahead and leave, since there really isn't anything to do there. Um, old Guild Armory. Will you buy? Probably not, but I'll see what you have available. Uh, so this is weapons and armor. Oh, and, uh, clothing. Robe, cloak, boots, belt. So, this is where you'll go if you ever need, uh, um, non-magical arrows or darts or javelins, just because you're out of stuff or something like that. So, thank you and good day. So, yeah, at this point, uh, it's probably time to, uh, you know, get on with the game. So let's go ahead and, uh, uh, actually, let me check something. Do, do, do. Okay, no, there are just two ends. Let me encamp and save it. Okay. My escort is prepared. Shall we go now? Sure. Good. I know it is customary to pay in advance for this sort of service. So here, you can use them with wisdom or sell them. Party has found treasure. We found the treasure? I thought she gave the treasure to us. Each character receives 200 experience points for taking... a bunch of clerical scrolls. Oh boy, I wish I... See, and here we go. Can't join them, no! Okay. The guards open the gate, and Sasha leads the way, hardly looking in your direction. Of course not, she's too good for us. Wait till we save her ass later in the game. You travel past Kudo's Well and through the thriving Podal Plaza. Finally, you surmount a small hill and look back upon the quiet city. In the background, a thunderstorm builds over the moon sea. Suddenly, the storm expands and blankets the sky from horizon to horizon. Laughter nearly deafens you. Echoing off the distant mountains, a deep voice into intones, I am Bane. I claim this land for my own. A spectral hand descends from the clouds and covers Flan. When it rises, only a huge crater is left. Winds whistle in to fill the vacuum, knocking you to your knees. The moon sea forms a huge waterfall. Ooh, pretty animated picture. <clears throat> Bane speaks again. This land is under the sovereignty of my three lieutenants, Callistes, Tanatol, and Gothmanes. All forces who wish to live will place themselves under their orders. We have eclipsed the sun to allow darkness to reign supreme. Storms prevent entry into this region so that our enemies are without aid. When we have gathered and prepared, we shall sweep through the realms. With a final laugh of triumph, Bane's voice fades, only to be replaced by the howl of wind and the clap of thunder. Violent waves crash against the crater's edge as the moon sea rushes in. Suddenly, a gateway appears before you. A powerful suction draws you forward, hurling you through, a, through the glowing portal. You are overcome with a feeling of lightness. Luminous color and shadowy shapes rush by as you tumble head over heels. You slow, then stop. Weight returns to your bodies as you enter a bizarre landscape. Objects float in all orientations and fade in and out of focus. An old bearded man in robes moves laboriously towards you. His sandaled feet land sometimes on solid ma matter, sometimes on nothing. Greetings and well met. I'm... I don't think I'm doing the right voice that I did earlier. Oh, well. I am Ilminster, Sage of Shadowdale. 
All of you must forgive my s rude summoning, but as you may gather, these are rude and evil days. He continues. This is recorded as Journal Entry 15. Uh, Elminster's Explanation. Ye, I have chosen as the mightiest heroes of these regions to lend me aid against Black Lord Bane. I was fortunate to learn of Bane's plotting by way of my art. This time he means to do more than his usual meddling. He seeks total dominion over the very dirt of the realm. He has plotted well, and darkness now reigns over the moon sea and the plains of Thar. This is great evil, forsooth, but I fear that it is not st that if it is not stopped here, he will spread across the land as forcefully as the tide rises over the shore. We are now in the plain of Limbo, astral source of absolute chaos, and so too is Bane. I followed him here with aims of his undoing, but well is he hidden in the shifting madness. Somewhere he has made a crossroad between the dimensions for the use of his allies. This, too, I can do for you. The way between pools lies now through Limbo. When you enter the pools, I will use my power to enable my thy passage. But know that only the, my presence here makes this possible. If I were to leave this place or perish, the path would be closed, and Bane would rule here as well as over the moon sea. Such is my limit, but I will aid you as I can. I now send you back to the darkened plains. Find the servants of Bane, for they are his, they are his hands. Destroy them, but beware, for they are great powers. Help those who ye may. Allies can but further us. Go now, and may thy skill prevail. Ooh. Oh. Well, this is going to be fun. Elminster invokes a spell that hurls you back through the portal. Wait, I want you to hold some of my excess stuff. Sasha is not here, and you are not in Flan. Crater of Hullberg. So, here is the overland map for uh, Pools of Darkness. Um, here you see the uh, Moon Sea. You see the uh, river going down there, and there's a river there. Um, that's that's where Hillsfar was. Uh, I think that's Elven Tree. I forget what that is. Is Hul Hullberg? I believe that's Melvant. That's probably Thentia. I forget which that is. Uh, that's some place that we'll go. That's some place we'll go. That's Flan. That's another place we'll go. And I believe that's the crater of uh, Vertigris. Uh, that's Zental Keep. This is the Tower of Marcus. Yeah. That's a name you remember, it, isn't it? That's Mithdranor. And that is Mullmaster. So. Uh, now. We've got uh, quite a few options on what we can do. Um, I'd kind of like to uh, dump some crap, because i got a bunch of stuff that I don't really need. Um, but let's... Uh, actually see what uh, those uh, scrolls that I got were. Uh, restoration, Resurrection, Restoration. Uh, are they all of that? Yes, they are. Okay, that actually doesn't do me any good. That just kind of takes up space. Okay, anyway. So, basically, um, and, and there, there's a number of little um, uh, optional uh, like mini side quests that you can go on uh, at various points along the map that you can't actually see. Uh, the biggest one is probably right about there, uh, but we're not going to do that yet. Um, so, first of all, I'm probably going to go up here to the, the um, um, Lands of Thar area. Um, Although I could go over to the uh, the steading here, and uh, I might be able to sell some stuff. I don't know that there's really much point in it. But um, so I'm gonna think about what I, you know where I want to go uh, first, and um, then in the next episode we will uh, adventure on and um, start seeing the sights and killing the foes. I'll see you in the next episode.